Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on EOS. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at EOS to the US dollar. Uh, this is the one hour chart on Bitfinex, guys. And last time we spoke, price was sitting up somewhere around uh, 4.67, I think it was somewhere there, about somewhere in this zone here. Um, and I told you guys that uh, likely, if, if we, I gave you two scenarios, a bullish and a bearish scenario, guys. And my bullish scenario said that we had five waves up. We had, do had five clear waves up three, four, and five, very short to fifth, but still there nonetheless. I um, told you if that was correct, guys, we were in an ABC pattern. Uh, I told you to expect probably a bounce at this 4.47 resistance and then back up for the B wave, back down for the C wave. And it looks, so, it looks like so far, that's exactly what we've seen. Perfect ABC so far. And if that is correct, guys, we should be uh, possibly starting up, possibly ending that C wave. But by my count, more than likely, there's still one more wave down to complete the C wave. Um, so more than likely we might be coming back down. Um, in fact, if I look at this as a one, two, three, possibly as low as maybe 4.28. Now I realize that's getting a very, very, very deep correction. So I'm not even saying that, I'm not saying that is going to happen. I'm just saying it's a possibility. But assuming that we have seen the bottom here, if that's in fact, if that is, uh, if that is in fact the case, then more than likely guys, we should start an impulse up for our third wave. Uh, remember this would be a one, two, three. So the third wave would be the, uh, um, uh, primary of this one, two, primary wave three, we should be starting at any moment. I'm not saying that is happening, guys, just saying that is a possibility. And if that does happen with primary wave three, we're going to be targeting somewhere around, let's see, if we do get a lot, we're going to have to get a lot of volume follow through, guys. Um, and we're just not seeing the volume as of yet. But if that does come into play, guys, we're going to be targeting somewhere around 5.63, somewhere thereabouts would be the target. But there's a lot of reason. Just because that's the target doesn't mean it's going to get there, guys. There's a lot of resistance to get through. Just means from a pure Elliott perspective, that would be the next logical move, the next logical target. Um, but as I said, guys, uh, 550, that's strong resistance there. 510, we got a lot of resistance there, guys. So let's just wait and see how this plays out. Um, to verify this count, guys, we're going to have to take out this prior high. So let me get rid of this so you guys can see this a little better. Uh, if we take out this prior high here of uh, 4.91, that's going to verify that count, guys, and that's going to um, put this count in play. Now, from a bearish perspective, as I told you guys, we were in five waves down. Uh, we were in uh, the fifth wave um, and the fifth sub wave within that fifth wave. Um, so if that is, in fact, the case, guys, which I believe that it is, uh, we were in that last final fifth wave down. So this would be in fact, I'll just show you here so you guys see what I'm saying. Uh, this would be my bearish count from yesterday. Uh, five larger waves, five sub waves within that larger wave. And then within those sub waves, we had, uh, we had five more sub waves. And that's where we are now. So one, two, three, four, five. We were on that fifth sub wave down to complete the larger fifth wave in that larger ABC pattern. So fast forward to where we are today, guys. If that is in fact the case, then we'd be looking at a, as I showed you yesterday, we'd be looking at something like this a one, two, down for the three, four, and down for the five. Okay, so if that is in fact the case, guys, where am I gonna find the bottom of that subwave three? Bottom of that subwave three is more than likely gonna target somewhere around 4.28 or 4. Point, let's see, somewhere around 4.27. So somewhere in this zone would be the target, guys. And we can see that's where, in fact, I forgot to mark it. We created a nice little support zone right there and that coincides nicely with where that wave three might end up um, from, again, from a bearish perspective, if that um, count is in fact in play. And I'm not saying it is, guys, just saying it's a possibility. We don't know. We got a lot of structure on both sides. If I go swing low, swing high, we can see that that was almost a perfect hit off the 618 FIB, you know, I just wicked right into it. Um, but at the same time, guys, um, from a, from a uh, bearish point of view, we had this, um, this retrace to this point, which was also almost a, if I remember right, also almost a perfect hit. Let me go swing, high swing, low. It was, yeah, a perfect hit right off the 618. So we just have a lot of structure going either way, guys. And I can see this breaking in either direction. If we come in here and we look at the four hour chart, we can see that price has been trading right within this zone between 4.28 and, uh, and 4.91. We can see it came down, hit this, came up, hit this, and we're just trading within this structure, within this zone right here for the last, uh, let's see, since, uh, yeah, since the third, yeah, since August 13th, guys. So for the last, what is that, the last five days now, uh, or excuse me, three days now, um, we've been trading in this zone. So we need to break out of this zone, and I think a break to one direction or another out of this zone is going to tell us which way this market is going to break, uh, longer, or not longer term, but here in the short term. 
Um, so anyway, longer term guys, I think this thing is heading uh, is heading to the moon longer term. But in the short term, guys, we might have a lot more downside. Um, but like I said, let's just wait and see how this ends up playing out. We check our RSI. This is again on the four hour RSI. We've got a lot of uh, marked out this descending resistance line, a point that we broke above yesterday. We also had this ascending resistance line here. Price did end up breaking up just barely, came was uh, came right back down. And now we're testing this what was a descending resistance line it should that should now act as support. And it looks like we're just now testing it. So let's see if this support can hold and we get a bounce off of this descending resistance. It's going to be a very bullish indication. And from that point, guys, we've got a lot of resistance, as I point out here, to get through. But if we can get um, above this ascending resistance and this um, horizontal resistance line, guys, it's going to be a very bearish indication or bullish indication, excuse me, of a, of a, of a massively strengthening market. And at that point, I'm going to start to get very bullish um, even in the short term here. If we look at our stock RSI on the four hour, we can see it's looking screaming for a correction to the downside. Um, however, the RSI is sitting fairly neutral. We can see the MACD on the four hour, guys. Looks like the MACD line is starting to trend down. Um, the histogram is also starting to trend down. If we look at the daily, daily the histogram um, is uh, is still trending up. Uh, the the daily MACD line looks like it might be starting to trend over possibly, but we know that uh, that could uh, reverse course at any point in time. Uh, if we look at uh, the daily stock RSI, it's very interesting. The four hour was very overbought. Uh, and it, I may have said oversold before, I meant to say that uh, incorrectly. The four hour um, stock RSI, I'll switch back here, is very overbought. However, the daily stock RSI is extremely oversold, guys. So we're getting some, um, so uh, that oftentimes that indicates we've got one more leg down to complete, and then we're going to, that'll reset the four hour, and then we're going to go ahead and start. Um, uptrending on the uh, on the stock. Now the four hour um, RSI is about as oversold as it has ever been, um, at least here on uh, on Bitfinex on the on the USD pairing. It's only been there for a year, but it's as it's just as oversold. It is as oversold as it's ever been, and it's screaming for it to get back up into this range, guys. It's screaming for uh, price to increase to reset this RSI. Um, it's just it, I, I, I'm surprised it's been oversold and has been since August eighth. Almost what is that? Eight days now. So you know, that's just that's shocking to me that we haven't come up yet. Looking at this on the, our candles, guys, we have this nice reversal candle here. We had no follow through yesterday, and today's candle is looking extremely bearish so far, guys, which is about to close very very soon. Um, so again, looking bearish all the way around. Longs are uh, um, actually longs are just kind of sitting here. Uh, this is on the four hour, guys. Longs, a couple of them are are. Uh, are getting liquidated for the most part, guys. People are holding their long positions at this point. Stock or shorts are starting to stack again, um, and we had a little correction on shorts, guys, where they're starting to stack again, suggesting that uh, um, people are thinking that they do have more of a downside, guys, which makes sense from a market maker's point of view. They could take out stops in either direction, so we really don't have any clue as to which direction they're going to drive this market. Um, if we look at uh, at least from that perspective, if we look at our MACD. Um, or excuse me, if we look at our moving averages and exponential moving averages on the four hour, we can see that it's crashed below the eight day EMA, um, which is very bearish. We can see that the uh, um, um, Bollinger Bands that are right down here sitting at about 4.28. That does coincide nicely with the possible bounce that we talked about in our bearish scenario. So let's wait and see if that ends up happening, guys. I'm not saying it's going to, but it's a very real possibility. The uh, uh, daily, um, we haven't even tested the 4.8 day EMA on the daily here, so very, very bearish looking um, all the way around in that regard, guys. But uh, but as I said, guys, and this this just candle is just looking terrible um, so far. But let's uh, if we don't get a bounce here very soon, guys, I think there's a real possibility we're going to be coming down. At that point, we're going to be testing this 4.28. If we don't get a bounce off the 4.28, the last resort is going to be this prior low at 4.17. At that point, I'd be looking for a double bottom bounce. If we don't get that double bottom bounce, it's going to be a quick drop to $4 in my opinion. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it there. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. As always, guys, I certainly would appreciate an upvote or a re-steam or a like, depending on where you're viewing this. And until next time, guys, please trade safe. This is working. Signing out.